How Chinese EV giant BYD is taking on Tesla Elon Musk is about to face a formidable challenger in the market. While Tesla has long dominated the EV market, its reign may be slipping. In China, the world's largest EV market, Tesla is losing ground to domestic automakers. Because of BYD, the Chinese EV giant backed by Warren Buffett. Last year, Tesla's sales might have plummeted if not for their 20% to 30% price cuts. But there's one only car maker that's been giving Tesla a serious run for its money, BYD. So who exactly is this challenger? Keep watching to find out how BYD is about taking on Tesla. Tesla's challenger. In 2023, BYD or Build Your Dreams achieved a remarkable feat. They produced over 3 million new energy vehicles, including plug-in hybrids and battery electrics. This impressive number surpassed Tesla's production of 1.84 million cars. BYD has surged ahead of Tesla in China, almost to the point of absurdity. Initially, Elon Musk dismissed BYD, as Chinese car manufacturers weren't taken seriously by their global counterparts. But times have changed. Foreign brands used to dominate the Chinese market, but now it's the Chinese brands that rule the roads. And let me tell you, the vehicles these Chinese automakers are putting out, they're pretty darn good. Not only do they dominate the Chinese market, but they've set their sights on global expansion. In 2023, BYD's exports skyrocketed by 334%, reaching 242,765 vehicles across 70 countries. That's right, they're not just sticking to China. They're exporting to places like Australia, Japan, Europe, and soon, maybe even the United States. TLSA, the financial services group, predicts that by 2026, BYD will break into the top five automakers worldwide. And this year, they're already in the top 10. Not bad for a company that started as a battery manufacturer back in 1995. Back then, BYD was all about low-cost solutions. They wanted to undercut the competition. So they supplied batteries to big names like Motorola and Nokia. But then, they decided to rev up their game. They entered the auto business, acquiring Xi'an Kin Chuan Automobile. In 2005, they rolled out their first internal combustion car, the F3. Fast forward to 2008, and BYD introduced the F3 DM, a plug-in hybrid EV. Then came the E6 in 2010, BYD's first fully electric vehicle. It wasn't perfect, but hey, taxes loved it probably because of the incentives. Private buyers? Not so much. The auto division didn't exactly race ahead during the 2010s. Sales grew, but at a leisurely pace. Profits? Well, they were just okay. In 2018 and 2019, BWD's sales even dipped year on year. But in 2019, BWD revealed sleek new models like the Tangenhan, designed by top-notch German designers. Suddenly, BYD's cars looked downright handsome. By 2022, they waved goodbye to their ICE vehicles and shifted gears toward building battery electric and plug-in hybrids. Most of their cars cater to the mass market, which means volume, lots of it. And guess what? Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway is backing them. Back in 2008, Buffett snagged a 10% stake in BYD, hinting at their potential. Growth Story Warren Buffett also said that I'm betting on the man. Despite not fully understanding the technology or being sure about the China market, he recognized something extraordinary in Wang Chongfu, the founder of BYD. This recognition led to Buffett blessing an investment of about a quarter billion dollars in BYD. So why did he invest? Primarily because of BYD's battery business, which has seen remarkable growth. Alongside vehicle sales, BYD's stock has surged over 1,400% since Buffett's initial investment. However, Berkshire Hathaway has reduced its stake in the company by selling more than 60% of its shares since last summer. BYD's winning strategy centers on competitive pricing. Their vehicles undercut the competition, like the recently launched Seagull priced at just $11,500. BYD's expertise extends to batteries, a crucial EV component.
they design, develop, and engineer their own batteries at scale. Not only do they meet their own needs, but they also supply batteries globally, planning to build battery plants worldwide. Middle CTA Now you know about its remarkable growth, their competitive pricing strategy, and their expertise in batteries. But how will they navigate the global market? Smash that subscribe button right now and keep watching till the end. Vehicle Range BUED doesn't just make cars for regular folks. They also make trucks, buses, and more. In America, they build electric buses in California. They're big in the commercial vehicle market, especially in the U.S. and Latin America. Most of BUED's sales come from their cars. They offer lots of models at different prices. The Dynasty Series starts at $14,000, while the Top End Tang starts around $34,000. One car that really made BYD famous is the one they launched in 2020. They have the Ocean Series for younger buyers. Prices start at $10,000 for the Seagull and go up to $22,000 for the Seal. They even have fancy cars under brands like Denza Yang Wang and Fangcheng Bao. Denza a partnership with Mercedes-Benz started in 2010. They've made luxury minivans and SUVs. Yang Wang, launched in 2023, aims at super-rich buyers with a supercar and luxury SUV. Feng Chen Bao, also from 2023, released its first car last year. Global Expansion BUED started aiming for other markets in 2018, but in 2019, the market slowed down and profits fell for Chinese car makers. They realized they had too much competition at home. BYD already has a big share of the electric car market in Southeast Asia. In places like Thailand, Brazil, Colombia, and Israel, they're selling the most electric cars. They weren't known in Thailand a year ago, but now they're the top-selling car brand there. They plan to double their sales in the Philippines and Singapore this year. They started selling cars in Mexico last year and want to enter Japan too. Now, BUED is making moves in Europe. They sold 13,000 cars there last year and have a big ship to carry 7,000 cars. They just shipped 3,000 cars to Germany. BUED wants control over costs, so they do a lot of things in-house. They're focusing a lot on Europe because it's going electric and people there have money for electric cars but there are challenges for BYD abroad. The EU thinks Chinese car makers might be getting too much help from their government, making their cars cheaper. BYD got around $4.3 billion from China between 2015 and 2020. The big question is, will BYD try to sell cars in the US? They're getting ready for it. The US and Europe are good markets for them, but it's expensive to sell cars made in China in the US because of tariffs. BMWD might build a factory in Mexico to sell cars in North America. China already sends a lot of cars to Mexico, so making them there is the next step. They're already looking at sites and might start shipping cars to the U.S. after 2025. So, Chinese car makers like BYD might get closer to our market in the next few years. They could even start making cars in Mexico soon. U.S. concerns about Chinese automakers across the Pacific U.S. lawmakers are raising their eyebrows. They see Chinese automakers on the horizon, ready to flood the market, and it's a real concern. The chatter in D.C. is unmistakable, and you can bet they're dialing up the Mexican authorities too. The stakes are high, especially when the United Auto Workers have just clinched record-breaking wages and perks. In 2022, BYD entered the U.S. market and swiftly captured 14% of the electric vehicle market share. Impressive, right? But here's the twist. Tesla, the EV giant, leads with a commanding 53% share. However, Tesla has been selling its electric wonders in the US since 2014. The Chinese car companies aren't just competitive, they're formidable, and their secret sauce is a potent blend of affordability, innovation, and quality. If trade barriers remain low, these automakers could reshape the global automotive landscape. They're not just good, they're exceptional. China has the capacity to meet half of the world's demand for vehicles. Yes, you've heard that right, half. The sheer scale of their production capabilities is mind-boggling. With cost-effective manufacturing, cutting-edge designs, and improved quality,
Chinese automakers are on the cusp of revolutionizing the industry. The rest of the world? Well, they're watching with a mix of awe and trepidation. What can stop this juggernaut? Only time will reveal the answer. Buckle up, folks, because the road ahead is electrifying and the Chinese dragon roars. I hope you learned something new from this video, and if you did then make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. Until then, keep scrolling.